Doug here from the Soundpure Studios, and today we're going to continue talking about our, our Lynx Auroras we've got in our studio. Um, we've been talking about how flexible they are with uh, existing systems, how they'll work with just about any application you throw at them, PCs, Macs, Firewire, USB, HD, like what we have here. Um, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, there's actually two things we haven't really talked about yet. One is the Aurora systems are flexible for now and they are going to be future proof as well. What I mean by this is they are continually upgrading the new cards that go into these. Like the USB card is still a newer card. We now have HDX that's coming out. They're working on getting their HD card to be compatible fully with the HDX systems. So when we go, when, when, when we talk to customers, when customers ask about what to put in, in their studio, this is one of the easy choices because it doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter if they're in Pro Tools, it doesn't matter if they're in Logic, if they're in New Window. The Aurora doesn't care. The Aurora is going to work and it's going to sound fantastic. And you really can't get the channel count in one box like you can with the Auroras. That's the other thing I want to talk about today. And that's going to be the advanced routing. Uh, what the advanced routing is, is there's analog inputs and there's digital inputs as well as analog outputs and digital outputs in these boxes. Um, so an Aurora 8 can have eight analog in, eight analog out, as well as eight digital in and eight digital out. Um, I don't want that to be confusing. Uh, it is somewhat complicated in when that works and when it doesn't work. It depends on which card is put into this. For example, we have an Aurora 16 here. It's 16 analog in, 16 analog out. With our HD system, this actually goes to 16 in, 16 out analog, as well as 16 in and out digital. So what that means for us is we can be tracking 16 channels coming in um, and instead of using our D to A, we can actually feed digitally our headphone mixes. This allows us to use the D to A for uh, monitoring here in the studio. Um, this allows us to send it to maybe an external compressor, external EQs. It doesn't burn our D to A for things like the monitors. Uh, the headphone monitor mixes the Avion system, which is digital. Our Bricasti is digital. It allows us to do loops with the Aurora that are still in the digital domain. It's like pulling up a plug-in with a hardware reverb unit. We also have additional preamps that have digital outputs on them, our Millennia HV3R. It has eight channels of AES. Well, with an Aurora 16 and an HV3R, we can actually get 24 channels of recording at the same time. 16 channels analog coming from 16 preamps, eight additional channels coming in from our Millennium. Anyway, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, there's so much that we can do with these converters and it's really a case by case basis. And if you guys have questions about this, it does get a little bit complicated um, as far as how, what works and what doesn't work. So the best thing is gonna be, give us a call, shoot us an email. Let's talk about your system. Let's talk about your needs. Let's talk about how you wanna work, where you wanna be in the future. Chances are these Auroras are gonna be able to do that for you. Well, be sure to check out the other two videos, as well as any other video we've done, chances are, was with the Auroras. We've got two other great videos uh, highlighting the Auroras, how they work for us, how they can work in your studio as well. Um, I'm going to leave you with Eddie playing some guitar, and we appreciate you watching. Thanks again.